going on lads welcome everybody back to another objectives guys so today we're going to be looking at these new silver send off objectives now i might try complete these maybe later tonight off stream um and there might actually be a separate video of me opening all of these packs if i really want to put the grind in i mean honestly it's relatively rewarding but basically if you are new to these objective series or objective guides basically we look at most of the new objectives i did miss the, i think the footies memory lane i didn't end up doing but i did the draft days and all of that and obviously all the player objectives i do end up like you know doing an objective guide on if you are new to this i'll genuinely go through all of these and obviously for this one i can't really build you guys a particular squad but i can give you guys some tips and tricks to help get this done fast without further ado boys if this is a channel you do like make sure to drop a like and subscribe let's get into it boys so starting off we have got score 30 goals using silver players uh pretty self-explanatory and with this one genuinely squad battles beginner difficulty or you can play a friend. Um, I know for the, like, the memory lane objectives, playing a friend genuinely does get this done. So if you want, you could literally let your friend move his keeper, obviously offside trap, so his defenders go up, and you can literally keep scoring goals. You can get this done in one match. It's just 25 goals using silver players. You can literally get done in the same one as well. Play 15 matches while having 11 silver players in your starting squad. Uh, obviously, you're just going to be chipping away at this whilst you're trying to get all these other objectives done. Obviously, all the matches will end up adding up. It's just you Using silver defenders in three separate squad battle matches on at least professional. Uh, now with the defenders one lads, basically what you do is, what I like to do anyway, is have your silver defenders on the bench and you sub them on in like a right wing or left wing position in game. Because obviously it's a whole lot easier assisting from the right or left wing compared to assisting from right or left back or you could literally just you know have your right and left back as you usually would and then pause it straight away in game and move him up to left wing or right wing in game score and assist using silver midfielders in three separate matches you could do the same thing or obviously assisting with midfielders that means cdm center mid cam and left mid and right mid does count as a winger center forwards and obviously wingers do not count uh, as a midfielder assist with a through ball using silver players in three separate squad battle matches and score four goals using silver players in the same squad battles match um, on at least professional difficulty and one of the four must be scored using a volley now i know there's going to be a few people you know kind of like how does this work basically score four goals using silver players now with this sometimes EA are very, very, very poor with us, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes they mean score four goals with one particular player. So you've got uh, Timothy Weyer up front. So you have to score four goals with Timothy Weyer, but sometimes they mean you can score four goals with any silver player. So you can score two with Weyer and then score two with another dude and all count as four. I'm not clarifying it here, and I know sometimes people do get confused with this, so I would just be safe and try score the four goals of one player, one of them being a volley, which all you got to do is obviously you can cross it in using X on the Xbox and square on the PS, and then just volley it when it's in the air, just time it when the ball's in the air. Um, so I'd probably just try score the four with one player. It doesn't really, really, uh, it doesn't really clarify it. It does say score using silver players, so I'm assuming you can use, like, if you score two with Weyer and score two with another dude, but this will be very, very easy to get lads and obviously you get rare mega packs so if you complete all of these you get two rare mega packs and you get by, by the seams of it you get five 25s two rare megas and obviously an ultimate for completing the whole thing which is absolutely phenomenal from ea lads um on the, the good thing with this as well is player picks currently out so you're going to get rares in return and obviously the gold commons from the 25ks so from the completing this obviously if you don't pack any great players you get around obviously some fodder from the ultimate pack but you also get like probably craft 10 to 15 player picks the 81 plus player picks if you really wanted to so i really really like this objective now lads we're going to hop in to the tips tip number one and i do have to mention i am not sponsored or affiliated with footbin in any way personally i just use footbin a lot because it is a very 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 good app you can get it on the pc obviously you just got to search it up on the, on the chrome on the pc you can download it on your phone samsung apple it doesn't matter basically if you're on a device if you're watching this youtube video you'll be able to get footbin on whatever device you you are uh, basically you can search up a player's name and it will tell you the price and all of that so let's let's take uh i'm trying to think of a good silver player you know what vidra got an sbc today so let's take vidra's card so he's 73 rated he's obviously considered a silver card he's currently 700 coins on the market and in game he performs as a 72 rated striker now if we go on footbin and chuck let's say a hunter chemistry style on him it puts him to 90 pace and plus 10 shooting giving him a plus or plus 6 shooting giving him a plus 10 finishing boost and in game he goes to a 76 rated striker so basically lads 
Chemistry styles. Tip number one is going to be chemistry styles, and if you kind of want to, you know, test what chem styles would work best, Footbin is great to, you know, check for chem styles for that particular player. But for example, you got a silver player, make sure you go ahead and chuck whether it's a hawk, whether it's a hunter. It will make them so much better in game. And obviously, if you are struggling, because I believe it's on what? It's on at least professional difficulty. If you are struggling, then you can just chuck the chemistry styles on them. Now, tip number two is obviously search your club for silver rare players. You want to keep the ones that are semi usable like a striker with 77 pace is not going to cut it i mean he, he might for a few people an 89 pace right back he'd be all right if you want to get a japan if you get the japanese links in there he'll be absolutely fine um but as well lads if you are an og i say an og if you completed the objectives a while back when now we're actually doing them he's obviously i think a hudson adoy and he was a martinelli last week then you will have some objective silver cards now let's search your club I've used this dude for 48 games. Um, obviously, the goals and assists are all in squad battles, but he comes in at huge for objectives. So, lads, tip number two is search your club for good silver cards. And as well, I think it was at foot birthday cards as well. It was, it was like those three Brazilians. or Yeah, look at this, lads. So, we got four Brazilian cards here, which is absolutely lovely. Got a league good one there as well, which is very nice with a weekend league plus objective if I do decide to do that. Um, so, lads... Tip number two, search your club for usable silver players. And then the tip number three is genuinely building a squad. As you guys know, for the player guides, usually I will build a squad for you guys. Um, but I can't really at the moment. I'll, I'll build a squad, at, obviously, at the end of the video. You'll see it in a minute. Um, but with the squad builder, genuinely, lads, just build a squad around the good silver players you've got. For example, I've got four br good Brazilian foot birthday cards. So I'd want to build a Brazilian silver squad, if that makes sense. But lads, without further ado, let's get hop over over to the uh, silver squad builder it's probably going to cost like 20 to 30k and basically it's just one of it's kind of just usable silvers let's just say that boys for this we've literally just gone for a full japanese squad as i said personally for me i would build a brazilian squad that's why i said the squad builders run a little bit different but for those of you that doesn't have too much players in your squad this is a nice japanese team now remember this will be skyrocketing so this might be 40 50 000 coins genuinely lads this will be going up in price because lots of people will be doing these objectives as they are uh, they're basically essentially free packs they take 15 games so it's not like a small grind but obviously End of the day, they are basically free packs. So, lads, we've gone for a 4 3 3. Now, as I said, to give it assist with the defenders, you can actually pause straight away and using your left back and right back, you can move them up to the right wing and left wing position. As long as they're starting in a, in a full back position, they will count as assist with defenders. Or you can do it the other way and have some silver defenders on the bench that you can sub on straight away in a, you know, to give it assist in an attacking position. But, lads, anyways, starting off with the left mid, very, very pacey, 89 pace, 5. 5 high low insane agility and balance for a silver and i'm going to butcher these names so i'm not going to try and pronounce them i'm just going to save myself for embarrassment and obviously just show you guys uh, now striker we've gone for i'm um, once again not going to try and pronounce it he's got a four star weak foot once again some very solid agility and at 95 pace is ridiculous right mid we do have to play him obviously there wasn't any silver rear japanese right wings so we had to go for the right mid 91 pace once again some good agility center mid we have gone for kunu Motu. There we go. I tried to pronounce it. I think I didn't do too bad either. He's got good pace. His defending's not great, but he's got the good pace and a very nice attacking type of center mid. Uh, the other center mid, 66 pace is not great, but once again, you're very limited. And now CDM, 82 pace as a CDM is absolutely phenomenal. Left back as well, 88 pace. Once again, good agility and balance. And Shoji and Iwata. Lads, 77 and 76 pace as silver center backs is more than enough. Right back is a dude I actually gave an example for at the beginning by the name of Anzai, I believe it is. High, high. Dribbling and balance or agility and balance isn't great, but his pace will do the job. And in there, I know he's only six foot, but he's got the leadership, which doesn't do anything. But he's got rushes out of goal and saves with feet, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, lads, if you do obviously want to copy the squad, you can just pause it when I was going through. And this will help get the objectives. Obviously, you've got the defender, midfielder, assist, and all of the goals, lads. Very, very easy. Cheap packs, time consuming, yes. 15 games is like three or four hours of grinding, so it's not going to be quick by any means. But hopefully, this video did help you guys out. If you are new as well, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Till next time, see you later, boys.